Hello everybody, how is it going? We're playing against Luchi. Low-key best deck of the format. Nah, I don't know about that, that's probably stretching it, but... This deck is good. <laughs> this deck is really good. Our hand uh, had three searchers, how could I pass that up? <laughs> that's the mentality. Uh, I end up playing two games with this guy. I'm gonna uh, upload one today, one tomorrow. So, if you're interested on how this matchup goes, I got you. But, uh, to be fair, this was a, a pretty strong start, I would say. And he didn't have a, a Spandam or a brand new. We bought him deck two laws, though. We bought him deck two laws, so, you know. Give me some credit here, you know. <laughs> but, uh, play the Dawn, grab Chopper, play down the Beggie. Uh... I think Chopper is always more important than the Beggie, just because a uh, red card, you bounce red cards to play green cards. <laughs> I have my, <laughs> I draw three Zoros and we just draw our third to Dawn, so. It's a, uh, it's a game. It's a game we're playing. We'll probably like, bounce the Veggie, play Zoro this turn. It's always super awkward when you don't have any of your green cards to bounce into. Or, like, it's not awkward if you have a Bonnie, because you'll just tap Bonnie and then bounce her. But, uh, bouncing a Veggie does not feel very good. Bouncing any of your green cards does not feel very good. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. But on his 4-down turn, he plays a Kuzan. We do all the stuff we just did. Hit 5-5, five, five, counters out of 1, takes the other, I believe. Plays down a Kaku. Goodbye, Zoro. Very sad. <laughs> I imagine he won't swing with Kuzan because he wants to hold it for uh, for my law, which we just get off life. It's too lit. Oh, I lied. He actually swung with the Kuzan. Reduced the Nami for fun. Fair enough. We'll counter out of that one. Ki I like kind of don't want to use this to Don, but I also kind of do want to use this to Don. Weird, weird decision. I know I'm pretty much playing Zoro this turn, and then I'm bouncing him to play the law. So... I think it was okay to get rid of the Dadon. And we have two on board if we want a looper. So I think it was an okay decision. We'll be alright. <laughs> yeah, we'll swing five with the Zoro, five with their leader. Probably swing five with the Dawn because we won't get punished by an impact wave or anything, so we can swing with one of our little bodies. And this is definitely a, a pretty big turn. He probably bit off a bit more than he could chew, countering out of the two hits, not realizing I'd have two more. So he ends up dropping four guards to save this Kuzan. So I definitely don't think it was worth it. But uh, if he has the Sakazuki, he, he if he has a Sakazuki, he'd be able to pop my law regardless. I don't know why he wanted to defend this so much. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, I think the only reason you'd want to have Kuzan is like to pop it with a Kaku or something. But he has the Sakazuki, so I don't I don't know why he committed so hard into to protecting that Kuzan. Maybe he just really wanted to win board. Which I guess that's fair. I'll go 7 at my Zoro. There's two more attacks coming at it. I think I should defend this just because he has one card in hand and we want bodies to help clear his bodies now because he won't be able to really defend them very much. So if I make him commit like a Kuzan attack, I'm feeling pretty good about it. And he does, so... We're going to end up probably def defending, you know, his leader as well. Feels a little bit minus, but it's pretty much what he did. But we're going, like, a bit less minus than him, so... <laughs> yeah. We draw an Otama. We had one. Both were good, just because we want to make it easy for me to attack into their board when he has uh, one card in hand. And he'll let the Kaku go pretty easily. I can just swing my Zoro and then my leader at the Kuzan, so that's pretty much guaranteed dead. We're going to have to make do with what we got right now because we have no searchers and we have a Zoro. So like we could play Beggie and bounce into Zoro, which is kind of really our only play. Should have uh, swung first and played the Beggie, but it's all right. We'll just bounce first, swing the Zoro, and then swing with lead so we don't miss out on any value. And he ends up taking both, so... He's in a bit of a precarious spot. He probably really wants to try to clear my Zoros here. I do believe that is the optimal line of play. Definitely has to respect my um, my Radical Beam. 
But, uh, he definitely could have gone, like, nah, I guess he doesn't want to use the cards in hand for the restand. That's fair, that's fair. So we'll pop one with his Sakazuki, and then he'll swing seven into the other. I could defend this with the beam, and then if he goes, like, nine on leader, I have to hold that one. He goes seven. He knows I have the veggie in hand, so well played by him, well played by him. Could also have an impact wave. See, I may be defending that Zora was a bad call. But, uh, it makes it so he can't clear either of our other two bodies, which I will definitely swing with. Because, uh, he is low with cards in hand. And, uh, if he wants to commit his 7k swings into my little guys, that's cool with me. He will impact wave, so he did have it. Unfortunate, that's really strong here. But for some reason, he doesn't pop anything. I don't know exactly why. It's a little bit odd. We'll go 4 down on lead, attack for 9 on the Sakazuki. Needs to drop the rest of his hand. And that is what he does, he had double 2k. So we're in... <laughs> it's gonna get a little bit awkward. I, I know you guys are seeing the Sunny and the Vista and you're like, the list has changed again. Yeah, it, it has. Whenever I'm playing a deck, I I am constantly messing with different cards and different ratios. I'll, I'll throw the list up at the end if you guys want to try that, or try this list. It's not playing Film Brook, and I really like that card, but I wanted to try a list without it. And I am playing Sunny Kun, which um, probably doesn't make a ton of sense, but it, it's really good in the buggy. It's really good in the buggy. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to take that 13k hit. We pick up double restand law, which is cool, but uh, we only really need one. Because we're about to get absolutely devious right here. <laughs> he, has, he has one card in hand. I need to save one Dawn in case I get impact waved. Two Dawn for my lead. and uh, Sorry, I need to save two Dawn in case I get impact waved, and then two Dawn for my leader effect. And if I don't get impact waved, it's all good. But yeah, we'll swing seven with Veggie. We do get impact waved. Thank God we played around it. Because if not, we probably just lose this game. We'll swing five with lead because he used his last card. And then uh, as long as no triggers, I could have played around that, I guess, too. But uh, no triggers. <laughs> we'll restand the veggie. Attack for seven. Let's go. Veggie the goat. Veggie the goat. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching.